Hi Aries, welcome to your love connection reading for the last half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for stopping by again. And if you're new, please do check out the description box below. There's a ton of information there, plenty of links, uh, information on personal readings, all kinds of stuff, decks I'm using. So please do go check that out, it would be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. To those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with a donation and energy exchange for the channel, you know, within a uh, tip or donation is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're just gonna get started here for Aries. Hope everybody's doing well in the second half of August. Can you believe it already? I can't believe where time is going. So Aries, this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we may get a sign, element, or planet energy. We'll see how that plays into your love reading. If you find this part does not resonate for you at all, that's totally fine. This is sort of just like a little extra bonus. So the rest of the reading may um, resonate for you. And if you clicked on the title, then I'm assuming something in the title triggered you and uh, resonated with you. So there may be a message in here somewhere for you. Okay, and this can be any kind of connection, any kind of connection you have in mind in any type of situation with whoever you have in mind. So we'll see what's going on here. All the decks have been pre-shuffled, caught, meditated on off camera, and I did get the song come into my head, Love is in the Air, so we'll see if that plays into the reading somehow. You know that old song, I think it's from the 70s, Love is in the Air, Everywhere I Look Around, that song came into my head. So. We'll see how that plays into your reading. All right. All the decks are listed below also if you're interested in that. All righty, so let's see. Four Aries, 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 love connection reading last half of August. What kind of energy is around Aries last half of August? Spirit, please, just one card for, okay, this one flipped up, so I'm gonna take that. So could be a Scorpio. And it doesn't necessarily have to be their sun sign. It could be their rising sign, moon sign, Venus sign. Um, if they have that Scorpio in their chart heavily somewhere, or it could be their sun sign. Or maybe you have Scorpio in your chart heavily. Okay, just need a sip of water there. Alrighty, so let's get, this is the Lover's Oracle. Let's get an overall love energy card kind of energy, love energy are you in? Aries, last half of August. This is the back. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So go with the flow and that reminds me, you know, water is very flowy, um, it's very healing. And Scorpio is a water sign, so you could be dealing with a water sign. And water is all about emotions and feelings and, go, you know, flowing, ebbing, flowing, and that kind of energy. So something here with this connection is telling you to just kind of, I don't want to say calm down, but relax if you're stressed out. Because I'm seeing eight and one here is nine, which can be about stress and anxiety. So... I don't know if there's uh, you're resisting this connection or whatever's going on here, and I think you're just creating unnecessary stress. Spirit's telling you here, either you or them, just to go with the flow, take it as it comes, and just see where it goes. All right, so let's get one card for you, Aries. How do you feel about this person? How do you feel about the connection? Let's get one card for you, Aries Spirit, please. Oh, that's two. Oh, that's three. One card for Aries. How are they feeling? All right. It's the back. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So you have freedom of choice here. You can resist whatever this connection is, or you can embrace it and just go with the flow. So we'll see, see what's going on. So let's get one 
And you can uh, flip flop the sides if you feel like this is your person and this is you. On this side, then please feel free to flip flop the sides or the energy at any time. All right, so your person has, this is the back, this is a very peaceful, healing um, kind of energy. And they have new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So this person <laughs> wants a new beginning. So they want the new beginning. This person on this side wants the new beginning. And this person on this side, I think, has fear of the new beginning because maybe they fear they will lose their freedom. And they're causing unnecessary stress for themselves instead of just going with the flow. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Let's see what the uh, back of the card. Okay, we have a masculine energy there on the back. And it says, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it's only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it's only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So someone's needing to be true to themselves in some way, shape, or form here. Maybe they're not being honest with themselves and how they truly feel. Not being honest with their person. Or, I don't know, it could be also that, you know, this person here is maybe just going to jump in because they know this person wants the new beginning, but they're not really 100% in it, and they're only doing it because they think that's what this person wants. But this person here maybe just needs to be true to themselves and their person that maybe they don't want this and they just want their freedom. I don't know, we'll see what happens here. There's a couple different scenarios there, so um, we'll see what we get with the tarot here. Clarify your situation for the month of, well, the second half of August. I used to do monthly readings, and now I do bi-monthly, so sometimes I catch my saying, myself saying the month of. So if I do that, sorry, it's just forced of habit. All right, so second half of August. Let's clarify for <laughs> bottom of the deck. We have Ace of Cups here. So here, the energy is here. The energy is here for this brand new beginning in love. A lot of emotions and feeling. And here's the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Lots of love, emotions, everything overflowing. A divinely guided, deeply guided connection here. I think I'm going to put this over here. All right. So. All right. So. And I just saw the Ace of Swords. Uh, Eight of Swords. Which is about blockage. And feeling trapped. It could be emotionally, mentally, physically. And we do. I did have that energy over here. Or maybe perhaps this person here. Maybe uh, wanting their freedom. And they're afraid of this new beginning. Because they will no longer have their freedom. And they may, I think they don't want to be trapped or tied down or blocked from still living their life. I did see the Eight of Swords. Something told me to pull it out, and I didn't. So if it comes back out, it's meant to be there. All right, so we need one for Aries with this freedom. Why are they in the energy of freedom and this love connection? The second half of August. Spirit, please. Can we have one card for Aries, second half of August, please. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, take that one. The Ace of Pentacles. Well, and this is Earth energy. So this is a. So we have the eight. Wow. We have the Ace of Cups and we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Two brand new beginnings. Something here that's tangible, could be a physical um, gift, it could be an engagement, it could be um, just something here that's very strong, sturdy, and stable. It's for the long term, the long haul. Lots of love and emotions here. So now we have earth energy here. So maybe, you know, it, it also could be this energy on this side just doesn't want to be single anymore. You know, they're sick of just being alone and just being 
free? I don't, I don't know. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see for your person has a new beginning. It's way too many. Wow. <laughs> and now we have the Ace of Wands. Holy crap. Uh, can you believe this, Aries? Three aces. Three aces. The Ace of Cups. Love, emotions, a deep bond here. Stability, security, foundation for the long term. And now we have passion and excitement moving forward. Oh, wow. Yeah, this person's very passionate about this new beginning. Want to move it along quickly, and maybe you want to move it along slowly. Um, you know, you want to have that secure, stable foundation and let it bloom and grow. As you see the flowers here, very uh, stable. You know, let it build and grow slowly for the long term. And maybe this person just has, they could be a fire sign if they're not Scorpio. Um, and uh, maybe they just, you know, they got the fire lit under them and they just, boom, they just want to move ahead very quickly. And I feel like here, maybe you want a slower approach. Then you meet in the middle halfway here with the Ace of Cups, kind of water down the energies a little bit. You know, you speed up a little, they slow down a little. All right, so let's see what the actual situation is here for you, Aries. It's way too many. So I want like three cards for Aries. What is the actual situation between them and their person? We have the Knight of Wands, so <laughs> wow, in the wheel. Wow, getting a lot of fire energy, so, and now the Knight of Swords, wow. So, holy crap. So now we have two Knights in the wheel, have ear energy here with the Knight of Swords, fire energy again with the Knight of Wands, Sag energy here with the wheel. So connecting to you here is uh, the Knight of Wands, who's someone who's very passionate also, who's, you know, wants to take action, who's very ambitious, go-getter, goes after what they want. They're very successful, a lot of fiery passion. And also, the Knight of Wands sometimes can be considered like a player energy. They come and go, very uh, in and out, um, and they don't really stay a very flighty kind of energy. So no, maybe you were free at one time. You were, I don't want to say a player, but maybe you were dating a lot of people here, but now, you know, you had your freedom at one time, I feel maybe now, Aries, and now maybe you're just ready to settle down with this uh, Ace of Pentacles energy because you met this person here that you feel is your true love. And, you know, if you've stressed about it in the past here, now I feel like, you know, with the energy of the water here, you're just going with the flow. And that could just be the water energy here of Scorpio um, or Scorpio season, which is coming up uh, October into November, end of October into November. So that could be just a time period. So connecting to your person is the Knight of Swords. And I had felt that they wanted, this is someone who, you know, comes in, truth, clarity, they rush in. Sometimes they cause a commotion, they cause havoc, not meaning to, it's just the way they do and say without thinking. Sometimes just doing it irrationally without thinking it through first. And with that Ace of Wands there, yeah, they're very passionate and ready just to rush forward also in this connection. They're ready for the new beginning. And then connecting the two of you here is the Wheel of Fortune with the Sag energy. So this is things going in your favor in this connection this going uh, for the better good luck and fortune coming in the future divine timing here all things in divine timing and better luck and fortune and things going in the right direction in this connection wow wow okay so let's see what your advice is Aries in this connection so we have the page of cups we have the night. Wow. <laughs> here's the water energy. And here's earth energy again. And I had said here, Aries, I felt like you are now ready to settle down after being single and free for a long period of time. Maybe you were sick of that lifestyle of just dating, 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 and it going nowhere. Just finally got tired of that energy. Now you're ready to have this uh, new beginning here. Very stable firmly planted 
secure new beginning here. And I had said maybe offering even engagement or just being um, committed to one another or dating exclusively or whatever it is here. And here is you, Aries, your advice is to come in with this offer. No, maybe slow, stable, secure, but here's the offer in your hands. You're getting ready to offer a gift, a commitment. Uh, let's date exclusively. I don't know, let's get engaged. I don't know. Here's the messages here. Terms of endearment, um, love, affection. So Aries, here, here is you coming in with the offer, taking the action. And here is the offer full of love and emotions and feelings and affection to your person. Wow, that's your advice. If you're thinking and contemplating about it here, that is your advice. Wow, three aces, the Wheel of Fortune, Page of Cups, loving communication, Knight of Pentacles, physically having that tangible offer in your hand and either offering that stable, committed relationship or exclusively dating or even engagement. Wow. Sometimes a page of cups with the fishnet can indicate children or a pregnancy or something like that. So if that's the case where maybe someone got the child here and now you want to do the right thing by proposing to this person, then I say that is the right choice. I definitely do see... Um, a divinely guided uh, connection here with the Wheel of Fortune. So let's see, Aries, what your outcome may be. The King of Cups, wow. So this is water energy again. So I definitely feel like you could be dealing with maybe a person with heavy fire and water in their chart. Maybe you have earth in your chart also. But uh, yeah, here's the King of Cups. So here's you being you no know, in tune, in touch with your your emotions, your feelings. Um, you know, just being very that loving, strong, compassionate person. You may not always verbalize how you love and feel about this person, but you show it with the things you do, as with the Knight of Pentacles. So there definitely is a lot of love here. So now we go from the Page to the Knight to the King. So the outcome is being being in love with your person, being strong, stable, and grounded, in tune, in touch with your emotions, your feelings, just being that strong, loving person, but your person. Wow. So let's get more clarity here. Death. Okay, Scorpio. And here's that Scorpio energy. Again, okay, I'm getting, this is the ending of old ways and the beginning of a new way of thinking living transformation like a rebirth like tired of living your player ways like these are all the people maybe that you've been with here and you're like you know sort of truth here that has this flower blossoming on it which i feel is this connection and knowing you know it's time here to end my old ways and to transform and step into a new way of thinking living with this person Page of one. So here's again that passionate communication, fire energy, um, very fiery, passionate, uh, exciting communication between the two of you. And now the page of swords. Wow. A lot of court cards and uh, aces. Wow. Wow, Aries. So now we have the page of swords. So you know, this could be keeping tabs on one another online. This is also speaking truths, you know, maybe having open, honest conversation here, being very truthful and honest, cutting away things no longer serving you as in your old ways, seeing the truth in that, that it just left you feeling dark and hollow inside and knowing I need to just cut away that energy. It's no longer serving me. Because there is a little bit of light here shining through the clouds, but I feel again with the transformation with death here. Standing your ground, telling your truths. Wow, so now we have Six of Cups, water energy again. Wow, so definitely soulmate energy here. Uh, could be somebody that you knew um, since childhood, high school, college, first job, whatever, someone you've known very, very long time. Could also speak of past life. Um, 
relationships also, because you may, to, may have had past lives with this person, with the Six of Cups energy. That's thinking, you know, reminiscing, um, happy memories. Again, with the children, so, I mean, and with the Page of Cups here, with the fish in the cups, sometimes can indicate children. So whether or not you already have children with this person, or maybe there is now a child on the way, could be a message for some people here. All right, so let's get the bottom of the deck. The three of wands. So, so this is a fire energy again, energy of looking out into the distance and just knowing what you're doing, where you're going, but just a time of patiently waiting for, the, for when the time is right. So, you know, if you're thinking about coming forward to this person to offer a commitment, marriage, dating exclusively because you know you are deeply in love with this person but you're waiting here some reason you're waiting waiting for the right time judgment so Scorpio energy again so you know this is um, maybe just asking God in the universe for forgiveness of your ways of the past just healing forgiving and moving on making final judgment final decision here doing a life review of the things you've done in the past relationship review and uh, just finally making a final judgment call and it's almost like the universe the angel here blowing down the trumpet that this is your person definitely I feel definite soulmate energy here I think that if there's a child involved with the wheel it was probably something meant to be to bring you both together because you are soulmates and if you were fighting that cycle the new beginning because of freedom issues or um, not being true to yourself in this person. Judgment here is blowing the horn, saying, no, you guys are soulmate. And I feel with the wheel right in the middle of the spread that the divine here made this happen to bring the two of you together because you do love this person and they love you with the King of Cups energy here. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. So there you go. This is a happy home and family. This is pe pe two people coming together in one. It can be marriage. It can be... You know, living together, being very uh, prosperous, wealthy, uh, financially set, sharing everything in life together, and just being very abundant, abundant life together. So Four of Swords, yeah, a uh, time here of thinking, contemplating about this, healing ways of the past, taking a break, uh, retreating, recuperating energy, air energy here. We have earth energy there queen of swords air energy again do we have the king of swords no we have the page so again you know standing in truth clarity again with the sword cutting away things no longer serving you the situation your life telling it like it is not taking any more bs and there's the page of pentacles so again coming in with that offer with you in your hand and here is the actual communication of love communicating this offer of what you want to offer this person for the future very stable sturdy grounded offer it's tangible so it could be just a gift a simple gift it could be like I said an engagement of some kind uh, long term here so so Aries if you are thinking about committing to this person or just exclusively dating or proposing, I see here that it, you have three aces. Absolutely, divine timing here with the wheel. Ten of pentacles. Soulmate energy with the six of cups. That this is your soulmate. And there's definitely a lot of love here with the king of cups. So, all right. Aries let's get some guidance for you let's get some messages for you about this connection for the end of August second half of August love connection for Aries what do we have for Aries in this love connection what messages what guidance for Aries in this love connection please spirit thank you so much 
you so much. All right. So we have Our Lady of Blessing Bestowed. So I definitely feel like here, this is divine sending down blessings, that this is something divinely guided and it's been blessed in the universe before, before you even came together with this person. I just feel like divine here, blessing bestowed. Yep, this is your soulmate. The universe has the blessing here, has put down their blessing on this connection. Wow. And we have eight, which is about action and communication. So definitely here, you're thinking about taking that action and communicating to this person, then you definitely should do that. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so now we have Our Lady of Soul Birth. So this is being true to yourself. This is, you know, realizing your soul purpose and living out your soul purpose. And I also, the birth of soulmates here. Definitely here, the birth of soulmates. And we have five, which is change. Definitely something in this relationship dynamic has to change. So if it's committing, exclusively dating, engagement, whatever it is here, this is the birth of a soulmate connection here with Our Lady of Soul Birth. And we have Manifest Miracles. Exactly, 11 here. And then 11 is two, two people coming together in a soulmate union and making decisions and choices and manifesting. This can be manifested by you by taking action forward and manifesting this miracle that lies between the two of you. Wow. Because I also here I said growth assured and I had said here with the Ten of Pentacles a lot of growth, prosperity, and abundance. And then you have three, 30, which equals three, which is about working together, teamwork, compromise, uh, collaboration. So working together for growth, abundance for the future. So, yep. Yeah. And then underneath that, we have Our Lady of Quiet Blossoming, again with the three. So this is quietly blossoming into a soulmate union peace, harmony, tranquility here with the white dove. Yep. This is soulmate energy. And whatever happened between the two of you was meant to be with the divine timing here, divine wheel. If there's a child involved that's on the way, it was meant to happen, meant to be in order to bring you two together because you do belong together. You are soulmates. And the divine probably in interacted, said this is the only way you two will be able to come together is if we I don't have a you know a child involved. I don't know. That could be just a message for some, or just a message of you, Aries, or your person. You know, tired of living this um, player kind of energy in a way, and wanting to finally just settle down and offering their love, their commitment in some way, and then having this long-lasting, stable could be a lifelong pa uh, partner here with the Ten of Pentacles, and a lot of love here with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, passion, love, stability only ace we didn't get was the ace of swords but we do have the knight of swords we have the page of swords um so again four of swords a lot of and the queen of swords so a lot of truth and honesty and communication between the two of you wow aries um if this didn't resonate for you you could check below um there's playlists for past aries readings and um maybe something there will resonate for you Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. If you like my style, you like how I read, my energy, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly, general, and love. So don't miss out on that. And sending you much light, much light, love, and blessings. And lots of good luck here in your love connection. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.